Hello everyone. All well? Great. Now it's time to learn maths again. But this time you are going to have a chapter without any calculations. Yes, this is going to be a fun filled chapter. A chapter where we will be creative. Yes, our next chapter is shapes. Are you ready? Dear students, let's revise. Whenever you look at a shape, you have to observe two things. The number of corners and the number of sides. Here, the red dots are depicting the corners of the shape. And the line segments which join these red dots are the sides. As you can see, a triangle has three corners and three sides. A square has four corners and four sides. A rectangle has four corners as well as four sides. As you can see, there is no red dot on a circle. So, it has zero corners as well as zero sides. Look around. You can find many objects and classify them according to their shapes, right? Now, I will give you some examples and you have to identify the shape. Ready? My first example is carpet. Now, can you identify the shape of this carpet? The answer is rectangle. It has four sides out of which the opposite two sides are equal. Right? Great. Now, let's have a look at the next one. Our next object is a carom board. How many sides does this carom board have? Four. Great. Aren't all the sides equal? Yes, they are. Then think. Identify the shape. Come on. Correct. The answer is square. Four sides and all are equal. Great. Now my next example is a medal. Now identify the shape of a medal. It is round and has no corners. The answer is circle. Our next object is a temple flag. Have you ever noticed a temple flag? Identify its shape. Come on. Yes, the shape of the flag is triangle. Great. You are good at identifying the shapes. Come on now. Try on your own. Draw two objects having the following shapes. Two objects having square shape. Two having rectangle shape. Two having triangle shape. And two objects having circular shape. Try not to repeat the objects that I gave you as an example. Okay? All the best. Have fun.